I thought I would film a hello in a vlog for once. I think I have a structure that I'm gonna try to adhere to now. So last week, even though I didn't feel productive at all, I still did a lot so much that I had to take not only Friday but also Saturday and Sunday off and I have been taking a lot of naps, mostly. But now it is time to get this kitty painted. I'm nervous about it because I don't feel confident in my cat painting ability at all. But I I just need to do it, remind myself that I have drawn cats before, even to the 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 to the satisfaction of their owners. So it's gonna be fine. I'm gonna do it and it's gonna be okay. But I'm not gonna have the camera on while I draw because I'm nervous enough already. Once I have a sketch and get my paints out, I will return to you. Also, I have the correct cable to connect the monitor and the computer now, so that's good. The new um, obstacle, obstacle between me and my new life as a gamer is that I can't get it to connect to my internet. I've done a lot of googling and tried a lot of things and still having trouble, so I'm taking a break from that and I'm gonna draw. Also, reading update. I've started listening to Sharp Objects by Gillian Flynn and I think it's gonna be really good. I, I trust Gillian. It's already very unsettling, but in that way that I kind of enjoy. Is that weird? No. They're super popular books. It's not weird. I'm not weird. Alright. Bye for now. Hello friends. This is voiceover pixie. So things didn't go quite to my plans last week. It's a week later now and a week after I finished the painting and uh, I decided pretty much then that I wasn't doing a vlog because all the footage I had that wasn't uh, the speed paint you're watching right now was just me saying how tired I was and I just didn't think that was very fun even though I value being genuine and transparent there's also a point where it becomes redundant so yeah I, I did get started and slightly got over my nervousness, which was good. I think it's really fun to paint commissions because it gives me kind of a, a problem to solve, if that makes sense. Like it's, it's a challenge for me. I can obviously challenge myself when I do personal work and I sometimes do, but there's the added like stakes of having someone wait for it and want it which is also really exciting um but it also makes it well it makes me nervous because i'm used to disappointing myself but i try not to disappoint others you know so yeah i um also want to say since i mentioned it in the intro that i did finish listening to sharp objects and i thought it was really good really creepy and unsettling. I know I keep saying unsettling about Gillian Flynn's books, but I don't know a better word to describe them. I felt like this one was a lot about anxiety about girlhood and womanhood and uh, a lot about family dynamics and stuff like that. And uh, it was just really interesting. And the creepiest part was the most relatable and like everyday parts of just trying to live in the world as a woman. Um, 
so that was really I don't know it was a good reading experience but it was also very unpleasant which is sometimes good to take your mind off your own life <laughs> you know so I also wanted to say something about the challenge of painting black and uh, what I did for the fur was that I mixed ultramarine blue and burnt sienna so brown and blue but a uh, reddish brown to have it be kind of warm so I had one dark mix for the darkest parts and then I had sort of a mid-tone where I added more burnt sienna because if you look at a black cat's fur often the lighter parts have a brown tint to them so I had that and then I had a third highlight color where I added a little white to the uh, more brown mixture and obviously <laughs> um, I know there are professional pet artists who do a lot more with all of that and uh, probably use more blue in certain parts as well but I guess that also depends on like the lighting and different kinds of black fur and uh, stuff like that I'm I'm kind of fine with how it came out I look forward to doing better next time but I think it does end up looking cute even though in the middle I was really feeling <laughs> bad about it um, I worked on this for a total of about four hours I think but I did it over four days because I wasn't doing so good health-wise and I, I haven't been this week either really I've also started school and try to figure out my financial situation this autumn so uh, it's just been a lot but yeah I, uh, I also did work on the sofa in pretty bad lighting which you will have seen um, so enjoy this uh, very genuine insight and I think I think that's it I was really happy that I got to do this for one of my lovely patrons I'm hoping I can do a similar like extra gift thing maybe around Christmas unless I get super busy around then which I very well could be in that case maybe around February like for Valentine's type thing something like that uh, because I really do like making things for people and I wish I could do it for free <laughs> um, but alas we must pay the bills and on that cheerful note I hope you enjoyed this uh, very speedy speed paint and all over the place voiceover and I hope you're doing well and taking care of yourself to the best of your ability thank you for watching I will see you next time extra shout out to my patrons of course and uh, take care of yourself have fun make stuff read Lennon drink water, wash your hands, etc, uh, etc. Et <laughs> okay, thank you, goodbye.